Andre Rublev celebrated his Nordia Open victory over Kaspar Ruud before catching a flight with his rival. Andre Rublev celebrated in style after defeating Kaspar Ruud to win the Nordia Open in Bastad. After the champion's dinner, the World No. 7 was filmed doing pull-ups off a beam in a nightclub. And he then traveled to Hamburg with Rude, who jokingly swore at him during his runner-up speech after Rublev hit all the F King lines. Rublev lifted his second title of the year in Bastad on Sunday, downing Rude 7, 6, 3, 6, 0. Oh. But there were originally fears that they wouldn't even be able to play the final and would have to come back on Monday when rain was forecast. They managed to complete the match with a 25-year-old winning in 90 minutes before he headed out to celebrate his victory in a club. Rublev was filmed sitting on a wooden beam inside the club before he joined someone else in doing pull-ups off the timber while We Are The Champions played in the background. And the fun didn't stop there, as he joined Rude on a plane to Hamburg on Monday so they could both compete in this week's ATP 500 event. The Nordia Open Instagram account confirmed that the pair had decided to hitch a ride together, initially reporting that they would be driving before Rublev confirmed that they flew. Fun fact. Due to possible delays in Bastad, as it was supposed to rain on Sunday, Kasper offered Andre a seat in the car to Hamburg so they went there together. A road trip you wanted to take part in. Probably a lot of the weekend at high volume, and some barking. Genuinely good guys, the tournament commented on one of the ATP Tour's posts of the two players together after arriving in Hamburg. But the trip wasn't so seamless thanks to the threat of the rain as Rublev explained that they were left in limbo over their flight after believing they would have to contest the final on Monday. I don't know if Kasper will allow me, Rublev laughed when Tennis TV asked him to talk about their journey together. The journey was fun. I mean, starting from the final because they were telling us from 2 p.m. there will be full rain until the end of the day and like almost no chances you're going to play. I don't know, it was like a fairy tale or a miracle had to happen that somehow we would be able to play the final today so they were already thinking to move us for tomorrow. And me and Casper, we shared a plane and we already arranged everything and booked it so it was supposed to be at 12 so it was already. They moved the match so we need to move the plane. After they managed to get out onto court on time, Rublev and Rude learned their flight on Monday had still been pushed back. Everything is perfect, and then the main guy from the plane texts us, no, something happened. You're going to fly at 4 or 3.30 p.m., he continued. So, okay, we have to wait three extra hours to fly and finally we're here and it's again rain. The pair share a good relationship. With Rude taking a dig at the world number 7 in his speech after losing their showdown in Sweden. Laughing, the 24-year-old told his rival, You're a very tough competitor, but also a very nice guy, very funny, and always respectful to your opponents. Even though you hit all the F-King lines today, it was not so respectful to me, but it's okay.